Galatians 4.22, for it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondmaid, the other by a free woman. And the other by a free woman, right? Give me that, Genesis 16, 16. No, give it to me from 8. Genesis 16, 7. Genesis 16 and 7. And the angel of the Lord found her by the fountain of water in the wilderness, by the fountain, in the way of short, and in the way to short. And he said, Hagar, Sarah's maid. Now Hagar is the Egyptian bondmaid of Sarah, Abraham's wife. Understand this. An Egyptian bondwoman, the, 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 the bondwoman of Sarah, Abraham's wife. Abraham, the forefather of the nation of Israel. Read on. Genesis 16 and 8. And he said, Hagar, Sarah's maid. Thou go. And she said, I flee from the face of my mistress, Sarah. For, for she said, I flee from my mistress, Sarai, Sarah. Read on. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Return unto thy mistress, and submit thyself under, thy, under her hand. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed exceedingly. So now the angel is even letting her know that, she, that, he's gonna, that the Most High is going to multiply her seed greatly. The seed that's coming through her, through the brother Abraham. Read on. And the angel of the Lord Try. said unto her, Return unto thy mystery, and submit thyself unto her hand. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed exceedingly, that it shall not, that it shall not be numbered for multitude. Come on. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, daughter with child, and shall bear a son, and shall call his name Ishmael. And they shall call his name Ishmael. Mael, Ishmael, all right? This is the first son of Abraham that we're talking about, that we're reading about. Ishmael is the progenitor of the, of the Arab race. Ishmael is all the Arabians, the Iraqs, those that are in Palestine fighting over that land today. The people that are on the West Gaza Strip fighting over that land today, who have no business being there. That land belongs to us as a nation, all right? What is my point that we're bringing out? Because there's a lot of people holding fast, a lot of our people holding fast to Islam, yeah. to being a Muslim, which is not our nationality. Read on, brother. Genesis 16 and 12. And, I will, and he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man. He's going to be a what? A wild man. And his hand will be against every man. So Ishmael, or the Ishmaelites, or the Arab race, is going to be a wild man in the earth. I mean, and you can identify with this man today, as we know him, strapping 20 pounds of dynamite, roll up in the miles and blow everybody up. Allow walk by and blow everybody up. In the name of his God, in the name of Allah. Wickedness. There's only one nation that do that, and that's the Arab race, the Ishmaelites. Read it again. And he will be a wild man. His hand will be against every man. His hand will be against every man. They want to call him a terrorist. The Bible even shows that. Right? His hand is going to be against every man in the earth. To the best of my knowledge, they are the people that came up with gunpowder. Gun they're the ones that are the reasons why we have guns today. All right, read on. And he shall dwell, excuse me, and every man hand against him. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. And he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. So we're talking about the Arab race. Same thing like this Galatians is saying. Read the Galatians. Galatians. In 22, for it is written that Abraham had two sons. Abraham had two sons. Read on. One by a bond maid the other by a free woman. But he who was of the bond woman was born after the flesh. He was born after the flesh. Because Abraham's wife could not have seed. She was barren. So she gave him another wife. She gave him her bond, bond maid, Hagar. Gave her unto Abraham so she could bear seed, so he can bear seed through her. Read on. But he of the free woman was by promise. But he of the free woman was of promise. This is talking about Isaac, his son that he had with Sarah in her old age. Read on. 
Galatians 4 and 25 and 24. Which things are an allegory? Which things are an allegory? The allegory is a, is a metaphor or something that's synonymous or something that is trying to break down this scripture. Like a parable, an allegory. Read on. For these are the two covenants. The one from Mount Sinai, which generates to bondage, which is Agar. 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 For this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia, and answer is to Jerusalem. In answer to Jerusalem, to the nation of Israel, to you so-called Negroes, West Indian, Puerto Ricans, Haitians, excuse me, Dominicans, which are the Sinaites, the Guatemala, the Panama, the Puerto Ricans, the Cubans, the North American Indians, the Seminole Indians, the Argentinians of Chile, the Colombians to Uruguay, and the Mexicans. He's talking to the people of the nation of Israel when he mentions Jerusalem. We are the same, the same, same people that they portray every Easter in the Ten Commandments with Charleston Heston and your Bruno, Bruno, whatever his name is. All right, those are the people of the Lord, not them. Not that skin texture, though. We're not talking about that. We're just talking about the depiction. All right, read on. Galatians 4 and 25. For this Agar is Mount Sinai in Arabia. It answers to Jerusalem, which now is and is in bondage with her children. Which now is and in bondage with her children. Is this not the estate of our people today? We're still in captivity. Give me that um, Baruch 3 and 8. Baruch 3 and 8, right? Which right now is in bondage. Here it is in 2008. How is this scripture playing out? Because we're still in captivity. We're still in the land of our captivity, which is America. We didn't come over here on our free will, like all these other immigrants that come over here on their free will. Understand this, people. We just brought over here in chains and shackles. Right? Read on. Guru, 3 and 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. When thou hast scattered us, for a reproach and a curse. For a shame and for a curse. Right? Not no four letter words. To be cursed. What is to be cursed? Right? Read on. And to be subject to payment. And to be subject to payments. Bills. We got constant bills. We got to pay to drive a car. We got to pay. We got to get a license to drive a car. We got to pay to have water. We got to pay to have. You know what I'm saying? Lights, bills, child support, taxes. I mean, it's ridiculous. But the point I'm making is that we are the ones that are subject to bills. We don't. Listen, you think the rich 